Now raise your hand. How many of you guys are eating bread? Show of hands. See right now, that is almost 100% of the room, plus the people that didn't want to raise their hand because they're like, I've eaten bread, but I don't want you to know about it. <laughs> and we don't like this. Anyway, but so, and you know, I could sit up here with Connor, and we could tell you the same thing you've heard. Dr. You've heard all these facts. You've heard the statistics. You've heard what's happened. So we feel that, personally, it's not good enough just to hear it from us. We were like, well, we can uh -oh. reminisce over the past and how bread's affected us, but we can't do that because, Hello, like I said... Hello, my children! <laughs> so, Hello. I brought good. a couple of special guests. The first one, Mr. Lohoyevich, please give me a Hello, everybody. My name is Anthony Lahey Lohoyevich. I would like to be... Little Missy, get off the desk. Get off the desk! I would like to talk to you about bread. Now, I'm not sure if many of you know this, but in the 18th century, when bread was made in the home, life expectancy was down 50 years. Infant mortality was at an all-time high. People died of typhoid, yellow fever, polio. Connection? I think so. <laughs> Primitive tribal societies don't eat bread. They like matzo balls. And yeah! Low incidence of cancer, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and osteoporosis in all of these tribes. Come on, children. We have to end the bread now. I'm starting an all matzo ball campaign. Ohoyovich! <laughs> oh, my friend, it's good to be seeing you. Good to see you. Capone, good. Capone. Come on, Capone. Now, some of you may have heard me. I mean, I'm a famous mob boss. You heard me, right? Now, maybe no might have spent time in the cage. Just a little bit because some people didn't like the way I was rocking with people up. Now, the first thing I need to talk to you guys about is that 98%, that's a staggering, 98% of convicted felons like myself have eaten bread at one point in your life. Earlier, you all raised your hands. You're one step closer to being a convicted felon on death row. Also, 97.6% of all convicted felons shared one comment. Also, what was it? Their last meal. What did they have? Some forward of bread or another. Yeah, there was that one guy who just said, give me Gatorade and Dr. Pepper. But <laughs> most people, all they had was bread or bread of some substance like that. Donuts, anything you could have. Hello, for. my friend. It is good to be seeing yes, you. Now, now I'd like to <laughs> A douche, ladies and gentlemen, a douche. Hey, my <laughs> name is a douche, not a douche. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hello my friends, my name is Anu. I would like to bring some facts to you about dough. Bread made from dough. <laughs> bread is made from dough. Did you know that a teaspoon of dough can choke a lab rat? That's more than a human eats in a day. Bread absorbs water, correct? And humans are more than 90% water. Thus, leading me to conclude that the more bread you eat, you're turning to a gooey, soggy bread pudding person. <laughs> Lastly, my friend, you cannot eat dough. It is bad. You must eat goat. Goat is the sacred animal of my country where we must praise Allah and save the goat. Bread is bad. Young lady, how many times do you eat bread a day? Tell me. A lot. That is a bad answer. <laughs> what do you do? You come in my taxi and I will throw you out. <laughs> I am sick of the way that this society is coming. Oh, hello? Oh, no. Hello, my friend. They're all yours. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was trousing! They beat him, they kill him, they beat him, I was trousing! They abuse him, they do the trousing and hide him in the kitchen! They beat him, they fight him! <laughs> Don't speak German. Just
tell me. Me with all my infinite wisdom. I, I speak German. I can translate for you. Using? Using a stress? Oh. 95% of all alcohol abusers have eaten bread at one point in their life. Say Nike! Thank you. <laughs> Guys, we need to get into this, okay? We need to get into the heart. <laughs> Score below on average standardized tests. I get to take this endo count. This is wrong. AP test for the last five. <laughs> with major diseases. 93.1 juvenile delinquents have homes with bread. 99.7 drunk driving accidents eat bread, or those people eat bread within the last six months of their accident. 96.9% of all Nazis have eaten bread in their life. Guys, we have to take this. We have to analyze this. What other readers going to be thinking about this? You can't just skim the surface with bread here, guys. Deep. Come on, Sam, tell me something you know about bread. Tell me. Wow, that could not be more wrong. <laughs> This is the dream! Oh! Everyone, I think you're my other friend. I don't know if we mentioned this, but but we live together. He's my neighbor. I live, well not I live, I live at 3512 Sonville Lake. Mr. McCardle, though, lives at 3511. 3511. Sonville, that's S-O-N-N-E. B-I-N-L-E. I live at 3511 Sonville Lane, if I live in Macomb. Now, being born from North Detroit, you know, I like to gang it up with the gangsters. Now, the very first thing you should know about bread is that it tracks a couple light. Now see, because we're on opposite sides of the tracks, people think, oh, what are those? What's up, my gangsta? Yeah, gangsta, gangsta? Yo, 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 yo! Dude, I'm feeling you talking to these kids about bread? Bread, 98% of newborn babies choke! On the bread, I would know. Got three legitimate crack babies. <laughs> it happens, it happens. I think we should break this down and rap. We got a campaign to say no to bread. Hit it up. <laughs> Press the play button and crank up the tune. Dang straight. Uh, ready? Let me do it. <laughs> now listen up, y'all gonna make our case. Put the bread down or we'll wreck your face. Start a campaign to say no to toast. This is the equivalent of our Anglo Saxon pose. What? <laughs> Got a four step plan to end this thing. Don't mess with us with the bread rapper king. We'll blow you and beat you. Brass and percussion. Oh, stop, period. End of discussion. <laughs> step one. On something healthy, you're like crack. No, not crack rocks or the powdered snow, but the ones in the risk. That's where you want to go. Crackers. <laughs> They're crackers. <laughs> Yo, put up a tax and put it on bread. So then you can't buy it, you won't end up dead. Bread makes you fat and barney. Hope it doesn't end up like the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> Revolution. Step three. <laughs> Other things like milk and a cookie. This and not bread will get you some nookie! <laughs> cookie monster! Cookie monster! <laughs> now, no more bread sold at our school. Bread's in school, make kids straight acting a fool. Might get knocked up with a baby in the womb. Cast a dark light on that brooding bloom! <laughs> Heart of dark. Sexura! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> His Ophelia. Tis kind of scary. Tis kind of scary. Sounds to me like pedophilia.